Welcome to the first episode edition, whatever you want to call it, of the BB, Her- BB Herping Podcast, as you just saw in the title. Uh, this is my podcast, Seth Church. I'm Seth Church. I created BB Herping, and this is the podcast that I want to do. This is sort of a podcast, just if I have, if you know, in the winter time when there's not many snakes out, not much activity, or if we just have weeks there where there's relatively bad weather, can't go out and snake hunt. This is going to be the podcast that comes out. This is going to be like a video. That way I can keep posting videos even if I'm not catching animals. So that's what this is. Uh, the name BB Herping, actually a cool story behind that. Uh, my first YouTube channel was called Backyard Bites. Uh, I, wanted to, I, I wanted to start a YouTube channel for a long time. I'd watched a bunch of people catching creation, uh, Brave Wilderness, a bunch of other people, a bunch of other folks. And, uh who had done who had done stuff with snakes and animals and things like that. And I said, I want I want to do that. I want I'd like to go into that and record me catching snakes for y'all. So what I did was I been I was looking for a title. Really ho I really I couldn't think of anything because I'm I'm not that creative. I don't really I'm not I'm not that smart as far as creating titles like that. And I was riding home uh with some friends. They would, I went over to their house. I was Actually, snake hunt over there in a little bit. Didn't really find anything, but their uh, their mom was driving, and I told them about my idea of a YouTube channel. And she said, "Why don't you call it uh, Backyard Bites?" I thought that that's actually pretty good because I'm pretty much in my backyard, little in little bites, little bites of segments. I have, I have two meanings. You can have bites of segment, little bite videos, small videos, or snake bites. Literally, real snake bites could show up on the channel, and it did. Uh, snake bites did eventually show up on my channel, and uh, so that's how I got my name for the uh, BB Herping for my backyard bites. Sorry, my backyard bites first channel. That's how that name came up, and then I I'd, I'd done that channel for about I don't know six or seven videos. I'd post it on there, and then it really just kind of stopped because I didn't really have a lot of time on my hands. I couldn't do much back then. And so whenever my parents uh, started letting me use a phone, uh, they had they hooked a phone up so I could text them if I was ever at the house by myself. When they started letting me using it, uh, I just used the camera on it, and I realized that I had a lot more time now, or a lot a, ways to record video where I didn't have to be with people all the time. So that, and then I, I wanted to do that, but I didn't want to start the backyard bites back up because it was. I had not posted a video in so long, it'd just be like people wouldn't really get back into it. So what I did was I just created a whole new channel, and I called it BB Herping, because Backyard Bites, as you all know, Backyard Bites starts with two Bs. So I just put BB Herping, Backyard Bites Herping, all in one little little thing, and that's how that name came about, BB Herping. And the herping part, in case you don't know, herping means... Uh, to look for reptiles or amphibians, to go out and in search of herp means reptile or amphibian. So it means to go out and look for those animals. And that's what I do on that channel. Uh, go check it out. It's I have a couple videos. Well, I say a couple, but there's there's a pretty good bit. Uh, they're not some of my best videos. I'm definitely going to work on the quality a lot better. This year, 2021, I'm going to try to get, I'm going to try to start recording better videos, better quality, stills, uh, still a camera, uh, really wanting to, really wanting to expand on the channel. Uh, I have an Instagram page, BB Herping, of course. I post pictures and some behind the scenes stuff. I'm going to start that behind the scenes stuff of how my videos are made, uh, where I go, different place, different things like that. On my, yes, I, I also have pictures too. I'm flashing some pictures up on the screen now for you, so you can see kind of what I do on there, what I post about, and the the uh, camera actually that I, the camera I'm taking those pictures with, actually came from a guy Thomas Levine. Uh, I'm gonna say very pretty good friend of mine. Uh, we go we go snake hunting almost every year. If he's not busy, we go out behind his hut place and go flip ten, and then. We'll go road cruising out every now and then. Uh, he gave me that camera 
because he was going to get a new one, and I didn't have one yet. I was just taking pictures with, like, I was just taking pictures with this phone, or I had, like, a little handheld camera that the quality wasn't great. So he let me have that one, and that really, I was thank him for that, because that really, if he hadn't had, gave me that camera, I don't even know if I'd be doing this, because that really helped in getting those pictures and videos out there. So this is... Like I said, the BB Herping Podcast is going to be about really just behind the scenes or educating people about animals. Somebody might call in every now and then. I'll have somebody call, a little, I guess, special guest. And then I'll, I'll do different questions. People ask me questions. I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, we'll just do some quick facts here, I guess what we'll call fact segment. Uh, do some facts. I, I guess... One fact most people know about reptiles is they are cold-blooded. Uh, we are warm-blooded. As humans, we are warm-blooded. Uh, reptiles, on the other hand, are cold-blooded. And what that means is they need the sun's heat. They need the sun to help warm them up. So if you ever hear the term basking, like a snake is basking or that lizard is basking on a rock, that means they come out of the shade and get the sun to warm their bodies up to help them be more active. The sun and the cold really, really does affect snake's movement or, I guess, energy. Because snake, snake, lizard, anything. If it's cooler outside, uh, the snake is not going to be as active or as fast as it would be if it was hot outside. If you ever catch a snake when it's cold, you'll see that uh, not only is the snake cold to the touch, it's also very low-key. They're very just... Look at me and then put me back down where I was. They're, that's just very the way they are. Because when it's cold, they don't really they don't want to be out in it. I don't want to be out in it either. Also, uh, some facts about snakes: uh, their tongue. The reason they have the reason they flick their tongue out is because they're almost tasting the air or smelling the air to help find prey and predators, help identify. And that that goes up through what's called the Jacobson organ and through their brain to help them identify what they can eat and what might try to eat them which they base which is uh which is really cool what the way that God designed them to know the difference between that to what to eat and what's not to eat and then what's just like a limb brushing up against their back don't know how they do that that's just how they were created uh also some facts about snakes uh this fact I actually learned from uh, Thomas. He uh, and also go check him out on Instagram, Levine Wildlife, Levine Music. Uh, he, has, he has some really good stuff over there. Uh, we road cruising one night, and he said snakes are defensive, not aggressive. And now that I, if you really think about it, it actually does make sense because a snake doesn't come and try to bite you. If you're going toward it, that's when it tries. If you are coming toward it you are it, it thinks you're being aggressive and coming toward it so it's going to be defensive snake has three defenses and there's one little i guess sub defense i don't even know if that's a word but we'll go with it their three defenses are the first defense is to run is to just get out of there they don't want to be there they don't want you near them that's their first defense and then their second defense would be to musk that's where they produce a foul smelling odor and they hopefully a, a potential predator will smell that, and they would go away. Because if they smell it, they would like, I don't want to eat that. And their uh, third defense is to bite. That's their third and final defense. That's the one they rely on the least, I would say. Uh, never had a snake bite me if I didn't grab it. I'll, I'll say that. And uh, their, I guess what I call the sub defense is camouflage. If a snake can lay in the, gr- if, if a snake can lay stay really still, and use camouflage to his advantage, it's going to do that. Uh, that's just some little facts about snakes. You may not know, may know. Uh, this podcast is not going to be real long. It's just a little, like I said, a video I can put out there whenever I'm not looking for snakes or posting anything else. I just have uh, this. This is just my little first episode, so it's not going to be real long. Just a little introductory special, I guess you could call it, just to get you... Uh, 
called up what I'm going to be doing on this podcast. So like I said, there may be people call in, guests. So thank you for tuning in to this, and I will see you later.